Welcome back to daytime. Thanksgiving is a time to be thankful for what life has provided and celebrate with an abundance of food. And while many people will go to the grocery store to buy their supplies, there are some incredible harvest getaways that allow you to get up close and personal with the food that you're going to eat and where it comes from. Uh, daytime's getaway girl, Casey Wall, is here to share some of these wonderful trips and you've picked some really special places. You know, we always talk about food when I'm here. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but it's a theme. Yeah, it's a theme It's a great us. part of traveling. Yeah, we we, like we love that. We like it. But one of the stops I recommend is Virginia Beach, Virginia, which a lot of people don't realize. It's very, very rich in their farmland. Um, they have a stellar winemaking area. It's actually fifth in the nation. There's actually a harvest feast tour. It's a five-day tour, mm. and you get to do amazing things like learn about clams at an aqua farm, mm. um, go fishing with one of their most popular fishing captains, and then you actually cook and catch what uh, catch and cook oh, what you wonderful. harvest from the ocean. Um, there's also uh, learn how to uh, cure ham. Huh. It's really cool oh, things, wow. Virginia peanuts, and of course the farm tours, which is actually really beautiful, and this is $550 per person for the five days that's and a, all the food, of that's course. That's so. and, and, and yeah. accommodations. Do you sleep in your car? Yeah. You have yeah, your own accommodations, but, or you can sleep in your car, whatever works for you. <laughs> um, but no, it's a really, really cool experience, and you get to learn a lot about agriculture. Very all right, good. let's go yeah. abroad a little bit. Let's, let's head to Italy. I mean, when you think of food, don't you think of Italy? Yes. Of course. Yes, and I found La Tovola Mark Agritourism and Cooking School. It's a mouthful. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually a 300-year-old farmhouse. It's located on 500 very rich organic farmland. It actually has an amazing truffle uh, productivity here. So you can actually go mushroom hunting. Oh, wow. Yeah, which I think is really cool. But a lot of um, cooking, farm to fork, cooking classes. They actually offer a peasant cooking class, <laughs> um, which I think is fun. Three and five day packages here as well. So really good, cool place to check out. Oh my, just think of the things we could learn. Oh my gosh, that just sounds like the perfect trip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. I need, and beautiful. Trip of a lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> I need know? the basics. Uh, Napa Valley. Napa Valley. And you know, a lot of people go to Napa. They have a great time, but I found something really special and unique for Thanksgiving especially it's the Napa wine train oh what yeah. is this Let's hop aboard. yeah this yeah. is a 36 mile three hour tour and you actually start at the historic town of Napa you go through the award-winning you know Napa Valley oh. wine area and then you actually go to St. Helena and then come back and you're on vintage rail cars they've been lavishly restored it's beautiful and a lot of families make this their Thanksgiving tradition this is oh, what they do so every Thanksgiving what a great way to see all the vineyards oh that is oh. Oh. Such a special experience in Napa Valley, and the food looks outstanding. Amazing and How beautiful. How elegant that is. Oh my gosh. Fancy schmancy. It's I'm a nice loving getaway it. just for a couple. Yeah, and since you're on a train, you know, you can drink as much wine as you want. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I do like that. Let, let's talk about Hudson Valley in New York. It's, it's become a quite become quite a popular destination for a lot of people. It really is. It's so convenient. 70 miles outside of New York City, and they actually have um, Buttermilk in, or Buttermilk Falls in and uh, restaurant is actually mm. located there. That's oh. another mouthful. Yes. Um, but anyway, um, speaking of mouthfuls, they have really amazing food there. Um, very organic. They grow everything on site for their own restaurant. You can go with the chef every morning and harvest your food, the ingredients that he's going to use for your meals that you're going to have for the day. And they're huh. offering a very special Thanksgiving menu. Everything grown on site or within the local vicinity. Um, so pumpkins, butternut oh. squash, you know, all the fixings. Oh, what a wow. great idea. And I mean, the kids are out of school anyway, so why not take them Somewhere. Might as if, well. if you can afford to do it, do it. Right. It is a fantastic idea. It it's takes so the pressure fun. off, too, because so many people, you know, have just a, an army of people coming over to their homes, and, and that's fine, too. <laughs> but I'm getting away. <laughs> Cindy is going, are you going to have a big Thanksgiving dinner, though? No. <laughs> no, not at all. She's going to be, you'll be eating a lot of fish, though, right? <laughs> yes. I'll are you making order. reservations for, for Thanksgiving? <laughs> no. I, you know what? No. I, I, you know, every day, per, this sounds so hokey and corny, but really, I, I, I approach every day like it's Thanksgiving. I really do. Not only with the food <laughs> yeah, the amount, say with the the amount that I eat, but really, it w who doesn't wake up every day and just say thanks? A lot of people. Okay. Well. <laughs> they should, and that's what Thanksgiving is helpful Good for attitude, though. <laughs> Great attitude. Yeah, thanks, we love everybody. it. Let's all hold hands and sing. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Casey. Casey thank thanks. you. Good to have you here. Still to come, want to save some money and show someone you care? Make them a gift. We've got an expert standing by to show us how.